So one of the key parts of PowerPoint is also being able to bring some order to the um, amount of information that you would have. And we've already seen briefly how we can have different tables. Uh, but so these columns allow us to put different information in a column on the spreadsheet. And you can choose from whichever one you like. And you can go behind each column and define further information. And you can also format a cell to uh, give it a date format or a duration format or number format or whatever. But this group of columns can be saved away and given a name and recovered and in the future. So someone in the company might have made a specific progress report and you can replicate that as a set of columns you can fill that in or later on we might be talking about financial values and so we can have different uh, headings for different cost values or we might have different resources and so we can put these in different groups and we can come back to them whenever we want so the ability to have different named table sets is quite an important feature and this window with a different table we can also have a different filter. So maybe I only want to focus on the work of a particular trade contractor. So we can filter out only the work of a subset of information. So there we've just got the information we want. We can choose to change the appearance so we don't want to show the critical path or the logic links. Um, so we could save that information uh, away uh, in that sense, but we could also sort it by uh, a different view like the start date for example uh, so we could take all of the activities uh, that start at the earliest and put them in the correct order so all of that information we can save away and we can give this view a name so we could save this as um, concrete contractor work um, we can also put it in categories that, that we ha that, that you can create and so I can reproduce, recreate a different window. We open it in a different tab. That's got my original information. Here's the one that I just made a moment ago. So we can close that one, and at any time we can open a view uh, of information, uh, and it's exactly how we want it. We can display these um, windows in uh, side by side, and so you can see then if you make a change in any one area, you see the impact it has in every other area. So views are an important um, mechanism for allowing you to focus on just the information that you want. So in our main window back here, uh, I could also look at a sort because it's a way of grouping. So we can group by our trade contractors, for example. So here are all the codes without uh, activity without a trade contractor code. Here are all of the information um, presented by each individual contract so it's the same information it's just sorted into a different way and that can be part of our view another specialist view is also the library explorer how we create uh, different items on the left hand side in the project view and if you click on the library explorer it opens another window which you already know how to use because this is modeled on the windows explorer how you manipulate files and folders on your hard disk except here are all my code libraries uh, and if I click on one of these I can create a new entry so maybe uh, Aster development are going to be a contractor in this particular uh, scheme and we want to set a different um, background color to pattern and foreground color so all of these things are under your control so uh, you can set a sort order for this so it might be uh, number 18, so in any sort, uh, we'd see the order in which it was presented. So in this way, we can also edit our calendars. So you can uh, write mouse drag and you can copy in exactly the same way that you would in um, Windows Explorer with files and folders.